Hey guys, Rock Island had their December 2016 premiere auction, so we'll go through some of the prices now that we have them. Uh, there were two Turner rifles in this auction. This was the M1 carbine prototype, and this was a semi-auto conversion of an SMLE, one of my favorite guns from the auction, by the way. Uh, three Collier flintlocks, all of different types, extremely cool guns. And uh, this guy actually sold along with a second pistol, went rather higher than I expected it would. Uh, where the C77 went a bit lower than I expected, because it's not in the greatest condition. Um, there are a couple prototype rifles here, but first, let's take a look at these Colt Brevets. Um, what interests me the most about these is the sales prices didn't really have anything to do with the actual quality of the guns. So some of the really nice ones sold cheap, and some of the really crummy ones went expensive. Uh, here's the second, another of our prototype odd rifles, all went for kind of mid-range prices. Of course, if you follow Nambus, you'll know that really nice grandpa sets are very rare. This one, I think a couple of people got in a bidding war over. This went excruciatingly high. And a lot of people asked me about that breech loading wheel lock. It was pulled before the auction. I don't know why. And I honestly have no idea what the price estimate was before the auction. That was information I never actually saw myself. No. Oh, let's see. Moving on, some other interesting pistols. Frommer 1901s, very rare pistol. Going to bring some more, some high prices. Armageddon here went a little bit cheaper than I expected. Um, not entirely sure why, except that a lot of people maybe aren't interested in Italian prototypes. These must have been heavily reserved because they didn't sell. I don't know what the exact prices, uh, bid prices were. The knock was pretty cool. I know a lot of people are interested in the fixed seven barrel uh, volley gun version of the knock, but that was the six barrel repeater. Got, uh, let's see, Holo R's are easily available in 9 Largo and 380, but not so much in 45 Auto. Uh, Pritchard Bayonets, of course, also very rare. Here's a particularly expensive one, uh, 115 grand for the number one Colt Patterson. Expensive, but not the most expensive. Our uh, winner of most expensive thing I handled in the auction was this, the Root Dragoon prototype for 184 grand. I'm really glad I didn't know that was how much it was gonna sell for when I was messing with it. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in again. We'll have another auction series starting in January.